गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई सुविद्या होप यू ऑल आर फाइन इन सेल्फ स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव कंप्लीटेड द चैप्टर द ओलंपिक चैंपियन एंड द डक्स टुडे आई एम समिंग अप द थीम ऑफ द चैप्टर एंड विल डिस्कस सम एमसीक्यू और मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चंस एंड आल्सो कॉम्प्रिहेंशन क्वेश्चंस सो स्टूडेंट्स as we have discussed in the previous class bobby pets was born in sydney in australia and his father was a great sculling champion when bobby was of only 5 years he started rowing around the sydney port in a small boat and at the age of 6 he participated in a competition which meant for 14 year olds and he won the competition so one of the judges asked him about his age and bobby proudly answered that sir i am 6 or he proudly answered that he was 6 years old that means at the age of 6 he competed against the 14 year olds and also he won the match at the age of 6 he competed against his seniors and he won the match and which and when he was only 20 years at the age of 20 bobby was the sculling champion in australia the coming year or the next year in 1928 he participated in the amsterdam olympic games amsterdam is the capital of netherlands which is known for its artistic heritage and elaborate canal system so the 1928 olympic games was organized in in amsterdam and bobby participated there in the sculling competition and in the final he competed against ken mates of america and in the beginning of the game bobby was much ahead of ken mates and also up to the middle bobby was much ahead of ken mates and people thought that bobby will win the match very easily but suddenly something happened suddenly bobby heard the people shouting in the bank sitting in the bank then when bobby heard people shouting then he started or he looked over his soldier he looked over his shoulder sorry see look he looked over his shoulder so he looked over his shoulder means he looked briefly raising his head he looked briefly raising his head because he was uh, completely devoted uh, to his sporting activity and he was not looking uh, to the other way or looking it's not looking anywhere so when he heard people shouting sitting in the bank so now he looked over his he looked over his shoulder he looked over his shoulder means looked briefly raising his head so when he looked over his shoulder or looked briefly raising his head he saw a dog and her duckling and her ducklings have came in his path have came across the canal or they are just crossing the path which is meant for the sculling competition so these poor birds were un- unaware they do not have any knowledge that they are in the middle of the olympic games so bobby saw that he if he is remaining in the same speed then his boat may run into the duck or her ducklings run into means his boat may collide or hit the duck or ducklings so now bobby decided or now bobby decides that he will stop for a moment and will save the life of the ducks life of the ducklings and the duck so now bobby waited patiently but in order to pass the ducks so that the ducks will remain out of harm's way the ducks will remain out of harm's way out of harm's way means they will remain in a position that is safe from harm or 
a position from where harm cannot be done to them. So now what happened? Now Ken Mayers is catching up. He's coming very close to Bobby. Now Ken Mayers, his American competitor, is catching up and is coming very close to Bobby. So now the people have gone mad. They are shouting that what Bobby is doing. Okay. So they have remained confused. The people have remained confused and they are shouting because it is in the middle of the Olympic game and Ken Mayer is coming very close to Bobby. Is catching up a speed and coming very close to Bobby. So, but Bobby remained very calm and cool. He remained very calm and composed and he waited patiently he remained very calm and composed and he waited patiently till the dog and her ducklings will remain out of harm's way or will remain in a position that is safe from harm or from where harm cannot be done to them so when the dog and her ducklings passed then bobby again picked up speed raised his speed and won the competition easily. So, by winning the championship, he not only won the Olympic gold medal, but also he won the heart of everyone in the Amsterdam or everyone all around the world who were watching the 1928 Amsterdam Olympic Games. So, one of the Dutch newspaper, Dutch uh, you know, Dutch are the inhabitants of the Holland. Okay, the people of Holland are called Dutch. So, one of the Dutch newspaper mentioned that Bobby owned the heart of the children of Amsterdam. Means behaving in such a humane manner or behaving in such a manner, Bobby not only won the Olympic championship but also he owned the heart of everyone he owned the heart of a children and when the same thing is asked to his friends when his friends came to know they never expressed any surpriseness his friends in the Olympic team in the Australian Olympic team were not surprised at the Bobby's behavior they told Bobby is such a kind of a block Babi is such a kind of a man and as we have discussed students that the term block is used to address a man in Britain and in Australia it is an informal way of addressing a man. So when his friends knew about this then they don't express any surpriseness or they were not surprised at all at the behavior of Bobby Pierce. They told Bobby is a such a kind of a block, such a kind of a man. And students, as we know, at the age of six, Bobby participated in a competition which is meant for seniors or for 14 year olds. And he retired in 1945. He remained in the sporting event for 33 years and without losing a single match in his career. Without losing a single match in his career, such an amazing sports person he was, such a talented sports person he was, he has never lost a single match in his career. And his behavior in the 1928 Olympic Games became a living example to the Olympic heroes, to the Olympic persons all over the world. As in the previous class, we have discussed about the vision of Perry D. Covertin. Okay, Baron Perry D. Covertin, the founder of the modern Olympic Games. Okay, Baron Perry D. Covertin, the founder of the modern Olympic Games, mentioned that the most important thing in the Olympic game is not to win but to participate. Like the most important thing in life is not to become victorious but to fight the battle perfectly. And Bobby has just shown the example. Bobby has just shown a living, has just shown the example to the world that he not only fought the battle well but also he become victorious. And not only he won the Olympic championship 
but also he won the heart of every individual all around the world such a amazing personality such a amazing sports person bobby pierce was okay so students this is about bobby pierce the great olympic champion and how he won the heart of every individual and also he won the sculling competition so students today we have completed this portion let's discuss some questions comprehension activities mcq type first question bobby pierce belongs to students bobby pierce belongs to australia second question he won the first race when he was when he was a six next question he went to participate in the olympic games for the first time in 1928 next when bobby saw the ducks he he slowed down and he waited okay he slowed down and waited both option a and c is correct or option d which mentioned both a and c so he when bobby saw the ducks he slowed down and waited bobby won a race and everybody's heart Bobby won a race and everybody's heart. Option D, both A and B. So let's discuss some other questions. Bo where was Bobby Pierce born? Students, Bobby Pierce was born in Sydney in Australia. Okay? Bobby Pierce was born in Sydney in Australia. At what age did he learn to row boats? At what age he did he learn to row boats? Students, he learned to row boats at the age of five. He learned to row boats at the age of five. Next question: At what age did he win the first race? At what age did he win the first race? Students, he won the first race at the age of six, competing against. the 14 year olds are competing against the seniors okay so he won the first race at the age of 6 competing against 14 year olds next question in which year did he participate in the olympic games students in 1928 he participated in the olympic games okay in 1928 he participated in the olympic games so students now the last question how did bobby win the hearts of everyone how did bobby win the hearts of everyone students bobby won the heart of everyone by saving the life of a duck and the ducklings in the course of his game okay in the course of his game so bobby won the heart of everyone by saving the life of a duck and the ducklings in the course of his game so students today we have completed the chapter the olympic champion and the ducks so you go through the chapter thoroughly and try to answer the comprehension questions so thank you have a nice day see you in the next class